it's Donna at WilliamBordy.com. Welcome to this week's Spotlight video. Today I'm featuring this adorable pattern from um, Country Cottage Needleworks called Red, White, and Blue. It is such a fun little patriotic uh, pattern. So of course you've got the words red, white, and blue. You've got some beautiful scroll detail at the top and bottom. And then as you can see, each uh, where each uh, word is, that's uh, the color of the flowers surrounding us. So we've got beautiful red flowers, white flowers, and blue flowers. It's absolutely adorable. So check out this sample I have here. It's so cute. So what we did is we decided we wanted it bigger. So we stitched it on an 18 count linen using all six strands of floss because we wanted to make sure it was full. And then we changed out some of the buttons. Well, some of the cross stitch, four buttons. So like these flowers, these blue flowers, we changed out some of the white flowers for beads. These are nice big pebble beads. So they cover just like we wanted, but it turned out so fun. Just changing a couple of the details, instead of cross stitching these flowers, we added buttons and it just adds a whole new dimension to it as well. We did use the, um, the hand dyed floss that it calls for. I love hand dyed floss. If you have never used hand dyed floss, you should try because it is so much fun. Um, little tip, when stitching with hand dyed floss, you want to cross your X as you go. That way your top and bottom stitches, the color matches. Because as you can see here on like the green and the brown, um, with hand dyes, the color does change quite often. So you wouldn't want all your bottoms a light brown and all your tops a dark brown. So just stitch your X as you go when you're working with hand dyed. But hand dyed is so much fun. It just adds like a whole new element to it. I love it. So then we added buttons and added another element to it. <laughs> so, okay, that is it for this spotlight video for the red, white, and blue. Head over to my needlework blog on embroidery.com. I will have all of this linked in there. Make sure you turn your notifications on because that's how you'll know a new video is up. As always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!